everyone, it's me, Ellery, and I am back with my recap and review of Boomerang Season 2, Episode 3. So if you're interested in my review, make sure that you stick around and stay tuned. While you are here, make sure that you subscribe to my page and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. Let's go ahead and get into my recap and my review of Episode 3. All right, y'all, before we get started, I just want to apologize for posting this video super, super late. Um, <laughs> I was in the process of taking down my hair, so time just got away from me. But either way, I am here to bring you all my recap of episode three of Boomerang. So it kicked off with another, um, I guess you can say, homage to the original Boomerang movie. So if you have seen Boomerang the movie, then you know who Strom J is <laughs> um, and who was played by Grace Jones, um, one of the most beautiful models in the world in my personal opinion, but I digress. Um, <laughs> and um, her, um, blah, blah, blah. and really what happened was Lala, who is Tia, um, she like, had on the whole outfit or whatever and did a performance at the strip club because as we know she was previously a stripper um and now I guess you can say she's somewhat of like almost like herself <laughs> on the show because she became like a social media influencer so she gets money for doing appearances and whatnot she kind of gets into it with the other strippers or the other women that work at the club um basically to them it's like you get to show up they roll out the red carpet for you all of this stuff we still have to work here we don't get treated like that we don't get the royal treatment we're not making the same amount of money that you are you are not like us you know so kind of one of those conversations and she's like i was here before and they're like yeah but you're not still here um you're kind of in a different situation than the rest of us like you're not busting your ass the way the rest of us are like you can go do something else and we're still going to end up having to be here and so you kind of see her kind of struggle with that of like feeling as if um like dang like I think it's kind of like did I sell out which she knows she didn't um but just, I think she just kind of struggles with the whole idea of like maybe she's taking money out of their pocket or just not even realizing um what tends to happen or I don't know who gets left behind when you kind of level up or whatever on the flip side we finally get to find out what's going on with David like why he's been looking so stressed and depressed and sad and just like like oh my gosh David what's going on so we finally get to find out about that he actually goes to the church of the pastor that he was speaking to which <laughs> I know he it's not Steve Urkel but he will always be Steve Urkel not the point um he goes there and he actually gives a testimony and in his testimony we find out the truth y'all we find out the truth which is he has been mad at his friends because he kind of feels like he has to live a double life like how do i maintain my friendships and be um i guess you could say just a child of god in general but also be a pastor and lead this church we find out that the church didn't really close he actually stepped down as a pastor um and so I think more than anything, it was kind of an episode of those kind of like identity, like identity crisis, like identity issues. Um, and I think it was almost set up strategically to where we're looking at the strip club and then also looking at the church. And then in the midst of it, like he gets a phone call from Ari and Bryson who were drunk at a, <laughs> at a Mexican restaurant eating tacos and they needed him to come pick him up. And so it was just kind of like, here you all calling me again and not even considering the fact that it wasn't even Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it was actually Sunday. And although he is not leading his church anymore, which they still think is closed, um, he's still in church. So just him having that internal battle. And then we kind of see like this knockoff version of some friends at the church who literally look just like his like original group of friends, which was a whole thing on Twitter. Like we had a ball on Twitter on Wednesday night about that. Um, and then he goes and has a conversation with the pastor 
and the pastor was like approaching him about like taking him under his wing and all this stuff so overall um that's what the episode was kind of about um we kind of get more insight to um tia and what she has going on at the end of it she actually kind of makes a little connection with one of the girls from the club um so there might be like a whole love thing going on between her and i forgot what the girl's name was but anyways um we really didn't see too much of anybody else um, in this episode, it was really more so about Tia and um, David. And that's the recap of the entire episode. My personal review is, which I hate to say because I love me some Lena. I love, of course, love Holly Berry, um, everything. But this episode was a little boring for me. Um, I kind of just felt like it was just like a filler episode. Um, last season, to me, it felt as if in 30 minutes, we were getting a lot of content and a lot of information about the characters, the situations, everything. And now it just kind of feels like we're not getting the same amount of content. Um, I feel like the episodes are ending and nothing happened. And I really hate that feeling because I love Boomerang. I'm not trying to talk about anybody, y'all. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I love you, Lena. I really do. I promise I do. Okay, I promise I do. Um. But you know, I know that greater is coming. I know that more is coming. You never disappoint me, sis. You never do. So I'm not worried about it. But yeah, it was just kind of, it was just kind of boring. I mean, like there's really no other words to say it. The episode was just kind of boring. If I'm being honest, like I was taking out my hair and then I just wasn't like completely like, oh my gosh, about this episode that I had to like come record real quickly. And so that kind of, um, that, that kind of delayed, that delayed me. <laughs> that delayed me recording y'all because I was like, mm, okay, like it just, you know, it, it just, it was just okay. It was just an okay episode. That's my recap and that's my review. I know that's kind of short and simple, but um, with it being late, I didn't want to go on a tangent about too much and like I said overall the vision anyways let me know your thoughts on episode three of boomerang um let me know if you all are feeling the same way I am or if I'm just being a little extra because y'all know I think that I'm like a tv aficionado like I think I just know everything um so let me know you all's thoughts leave me some comments and um I guess we'll just stick around and see what happens next week with episode four. And until then, I will see you all next week. I promise to be on time. Until next time, y'all. Bye.